Welcome everyone to the ADP Center for Learning Technologies workshop series on gamified learning. Today we'll be looking at the Kahoot platform and some of its features. So to start, one will need either a free or a paid account with the Kahoot platform. So once you sign up and sign into your account, you will have the user display like so. So depending on your intended use of Kahoot, there are various options for creative expression of your lesson plans. The sidebar options here are home, which would be the home page and include a holistic eclectic perspective of the different options in the Kahoot platform. By clicking discover, it will take you to uh, somewhat of a marketplace similar to the option marketplace where there are user generated courses or modules that may fit what you are looking for. Some of them are paid for and you also do have the opportunity to create uh, courses which you can sell on this marketplace as well. And there are also free options that are available depending on your, uh, your subject matter as well. So the access pass option is uh, available to the premium accounts. This would offer uh, specific customized uh, modules and courses that are made by large third party organizations or by Kahoot itself. The library option will just host all of the projects that you have either uh, created or edited. The reports are reports from the uh, results of the different courses that you decide to run or polls in your classroom. Groups would be uh, groups that you invite people to collaborate on or uh, projects that you've assigned to uh, certain participants, or you can also gauge uh, the competition uh, as well. So clicking the marketplace option will bring you to the Kahoot marketplace, which offers uh, either user generated, Kahoot generated, or third party generated courses and modules. So when speaking about said courses and modules, if you look in the top right hand corner where it says create, you'll be able to start a new project by clicking this. So the course option allows one to create a course with a set of modules and activities. Uh, there are uh, a set of, of custom pre-made Kahoot options to include as well if that's what you decide to include. Um, you can include a story, a document, uh, utilize the math lab app or incorporate a YouTube video as well. So this would be similar to a course that someone would access and they would advance through various activities uh, and progress through the intended lesson plan that you've created. Now outside of the course option by clicking exit and clicking create again there is the Kahoot option. So the Kahoot option is similar to the course where you can integrate polls, quizzes, and activities. So for the premium version, there are AI assistance and AI generated content that you can include. But for the free version, you can either use the templates that are pre-made, such as a departmental planning meeting or a template inspired by a higher ed instructor. If you would like to create a Kahoot from a blank canvas, you can do that as well and pick your own themes similar to a slide deck. You can add slides or questions. Uh, when you do this, there are different formats in terms of the questions that you can ask. So there is uh, a lot of freedom of creative expression for the lesson plans or the options that you'd like to search for either within the templates or created yourself. Uh, obviously, there are a bit more options given the premium version, but in the free version, you can incorporate quiz questions, true-false questions, um, or other forms of activities that are utilized in free provided templates. So for example, by going to my library options, I have created a one-question quiz about what color is the sky, but we'll take a look at a template from a higher education instructor. So these are some of the, the forms of questions that you can ask. They utilized a quiz format and incorporated pictures uh, such as anatomy or different forms of sports medicine related topics as well. So after you create one of these projects, such as this one, you can then decide to save it and incorporate it in future courses that you create or you can share or assign the project to future participants. 
So the purpose of this workshop was to introduce you to Kahoot and to show you the number of different options you have for creative expression in terms of themes, in terms of the different tools that you can utilize. Uh, and in the future, if you do need any further individualized help, uh, you can always reach out to us at adpcenter.org, schedule an appointment, with one of our team members. And if you'd like to send us an email, you can email us at adpcenter at montclair.edu. So please feel free to reach out with any individualized questions or concerns, and we look forward to seeing you at one of our future workshops.